Hey hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic, and those of you who have been around the channel for a little while might remember this. Uh, this is this is a party, and it is a 150 gram vert that I built and fought for a while with quite a lot of success, actually. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and then I ended up retiring it due to the design throwing itself around a lot and the new arena having a lot of space for out of the arena um, pit outs or ring outs. So basically I ended up losing a lot more fights than I was winning, mostly because I was throwing myself out of the arena. However, there have been uh, discussions of some changes happening, and especially for the July meet for ARC, it sounds as though there is going to be um, a different arena running because the main arena is going to be set up for uh, Robot Havoc 4, which is happening at some point in the near future. So I wanted to go back to the vert design and try again. This time though, I'm actually going to redesign this as a party and use it as a uh, plastic ant weight and put it into the plastic class because I think that's going to be a bit of fun and will force me to change up the design just a little bit. So uh, I have parts on the printer right now. Once they're done, we will have a look at uh, what the new chassis has in comparison to the old chassis. So here is the new plastic chassis and uh, it has been designed basically to be buildable without some of the key components that are in this is a party that make it basically impossible for anybody other than me to build this design. It's very, this design is very, very reliant on this very specific carbon fiber drone arm, which I can only find in one supplier online, uh, which happens to be in the city that I live. Uh, so it's very nice and easy for me to get that particular piece, but I can't find it literally anywhere else. So I wanted to get rid of that from the design. Uh, I also was using um, wire to run as the invert kind of runners and hot glue them in place. That worked okay, but if everything was upside down and the wire took a hit or, or uh, it landed too hard, then either the glue gave way or the wire bent and it ended up uh, with the weapon slamming into the ground and things not really working. So what I've done this time around is, first of all, I've actually added a bit more mass to the front. So in the old design, there is nice hollows under here, uh, but that doesn't really give a very stable connection into the actual motor mount. So this time around, it's a nice solid design at the front, uh, which means that there is a nice chunk of infill up there, which adds extra protection. Because that was the other problem that I was facing was that these thin armor panels at the front broke quite often. And you can see that even though this is all taped up, it's still quite bendy and wobbly out the front here, which wasn't good and didn't help with the whole landing hits thing, especially after taking a horizontal shot to the front or more than one. Um, so I've got nice solid front armor now, which is just gonna be way, way better than the old stuff. And the motor mount and everything is now fully 3D printed as well, printed in two pieces so that this can be printed flat with a maximum number of uh, perimeters and everything and make this as strong as possible to then be acetone welded in, which at the moment I can't do because I actually need to sand this piece to get everything together. And you'll notice too that rather than wire running up, we have uh, the actual motor mount also has these sections so that it will ride upside down on the motor mount, which should work pretty nicely. Um, and it's got some ridges at the back to give it extra support in that direction. And yeah, again, it should just acetone weld in nice and uh, easily, no real problems there. So I also added uh, or changed the motor mounting because the motor mounting for this is party is very specific to these DYS uh, motors. So I changed that over so that we can actually run it off of all of the stuff that's currently in Jiffy, which includes this very, very cheap uh, clone of an 1806. So that's what this motor mount is actually set up for right now. So I think that's enough talking. I think it's time to uh, sand all of this stuff down, just hit it all with a nice file, and then we will acetone weld those two bits together.
Surprise, I have done something that I no don't normally do, and that is paint this uh, whole chassis up, change it from blue to red, because I, what I want to do is keep with the theming of this is a party's name and call this 99 Red Balloons. Uh, so it made sense for it to be red. Uh, anyway, now that that's all done, and I have actually done another thing I don't normally do and printed a top plate, uh, it's time to try and get all of this stuff together. And there we have it. Check it out. I am very, very happy I decided to uh, paint this whole thing red. I think it came out really, really quite nice. I've just thrown it on the scales and it's come out at 151 grams, which is just a touch over. Uh, but the good thing about having a 3D printed weapon is I can print this uh, one mil smaller and then everything should just work. Because I mean, at the moment the weapons 16 grams or something so dropping that down to 15 grams isn't going to make a huge level of difference on this I do also need to reprint the top plate because it doesn't quite fit uh, there was a small Yeah error in the way that the top plate got made. But that's fine. We can do that as well And I'll do all that probably off camera. So I think now what we need to do is test this thing So that went crazy well. Uh, I have an ABS chassis and a PLA chassis and both of them have been torn asunder. Uh, the front got ripped off the old this is a party chassis and also uh, a nice hit to the back cracked through the layer lines here. So that's probably almost running too well considering that this is going to go into the plastic league which is supposed to be a beginner's league. I'm not really supposed to be hitting quite this hard in a beginner's league. Uh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I might need to reconsider whether or not I fight with this or not. Uh, and then yeah, the PLA chassis just 
shattered. I mean, it didn't help that this PLA chassis had been uh, cut with a saw, so it was a little bit weakened previous to that, but some of the big chunks we took off were just brand new, well, brand new print and hadn't been hit by the saw previously. So yeah, it's, uh, it's capable of dishing out a lot of damage. I will say as well that the, uh, the tips of these weapons aren't looking too bad there's some damage to them but not a huge huge amount uh so i could probably get away with running this for like two or three fights before having to reprint it so note to myself uh make sure i bring multiple weapons because they are going to need to be swapped uh, from time to time anyway that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed that one and i will see you in the next video